Hi, it's April 17, 2015. I'm watching clips on YouTube of the uh, MTV Movie Awards, and I just saw the clip where Van Diesel sung I'll See You, see you Again from the Fast 7, Fast and the Furious 7's video, and a lot of people are saying that movie is so good that it makes you want to cry because at the end it gets really emotional because they do a tribute thing at the end for Paul Walker and it's just making me emotional right now I'm crying and I'm watching all these um, tribute videos right here and definitely when it comes out on DVD I'm definitely going to buy it like that one is really emotional to watch and I'm definitely going to buy it when I get um, when I can, but I really want to see it, but it, I, it, I don't know if I want to see it in theaters or not, because I might get emotional when I see Paul walk up on the stage, or up on the screen, I might start crying or something, because he's no longer with us, and he's dead, and it, when I found out the day he died, I cried almost all day long for him, because I'm a huge fan of him. He's my one of my favorite actors of all time, especially with the Fast and the Furious stuff. And I've got all the Fast and the Furious DVDs on DVD. And I knew him before the Fast and the Furious. I saw him on a cover of a magazine and I was like, who is this guy? He is gorgeous. And I cut out a little locker size picture and hung it in my room for the longest time. And then I would have his pic his magazine next to my bed. And then I and then when the Fast and the Fierces came out and I saw the guy from that magazine cover, I'm like, oh my god, they're the same people. Oh my god, they that's Paul Walker. And he's gorgeous, he's hot, he's sexy. But I like that he was a really good actor and knew what he was doing. And he was good at his work. He was good in the Fast and the Fierces. And I want to see Fast 7 so badly. Like, I can't stop thinking about it because I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to try and look it up on YouTube and see if somebody, like, somehow went to the theaters and filmed it and posted it. Because, you know, that can happen. And I'm not even going to wait until it's on Netflix because I want to have my own physical copy anyway. So I'm just going to buy it. I don't care. It could be 50 bucks and I'll buy it. I don't care how much it costs. It's probably just going to be like 15, 20 bucks. But no money is no object for me. I tell you what. And what really sucks is my brand, my uh, work shoes are falling apart. Well, they're not falling apart. The bottoms haven't messed up yet. And they would last long. But the inside, the little fabric on the inside is coming off. And you can see the, the place where the shoe, how they make the shoe or whatever. And it keeps cutting my foot. So I gotta do that this weekend as I go to Sands and the other places. So... Hopefully I can find the exact same pair because that's what I want to get. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about it. So, what do you guys, who, who, if you saw Fast 7, Fast and the Furious 7, comment down below what you thought of it. Tell me about it. Tell me about the ending because I want to know. So I know what to look forward to. And if you haven't yet, tell me if you want to. And I will talk to you people later. My cat's vlogs here. Hi. I just got done watching Fast and the Furious 7. 
Um, I'm not going to tell you how I saw it or if I went to the theaters or not. Just know that when you guys see it, when it comes out on DVD or in the theaters, you're going to be a sobbing mess by the end of the, the movie because the whole time you think one character is going to die and then you th then, then they don't and then you think the other one's going to die and then he doesn't. This girl lost her memory and during the whole movie she tries to remember it. Um, uh, Brian's character, uh, Paul Walker's character, they um, show him with his family and finds out his girl is pregnant again with a little girl and so they have Jack and another girl and I did cry at the starting of the movie not because of the whole Paul Walker thing that he's gone rest in peace Paul Walker you always be in my heart um it was when that famous house from the first couple of movies when um it blows up and that little boy's in the car and he's protecting the little boy but this whole movie you know how all the other movies were about drag racing and about racing the cars and it's all about the cars and everything this time it wasn't really about the drag racing and the cars or anything it's just about getting this guy's brother and putting justice to him and the rock is like do your thing and and then that guy Kurt Russell he's in it you may know him on several other, other movies like the little China movie or the um, oh I want to say I want to say it's something bored but I can't think of the name I want to call it under the boardwalk that doesn't sound right where he tries to get a girl who lost her a rich girl who lost her memory and says she's the mom of her boys of his boys but anyways Kurt Russell was in it old dude you could tell he's old but he still looks like Kurt Re Russell so you recognize mm -hmm. him he's there to help out and he comes up with these plans and then Tyrese is there coming up with plans usually the main character in all these movies are Paul Walker's character Brian but in this one Dom's the main character which is Van Diesel and he gets to make all the shots and stuff and things happen and he's doing this for Hans and and they go through a my f two favorite scenes that was like oh my god type scenes like I can't wait for the DVD to come out so I can see behind the scenes to see how they did those scenes hopefully they show how they did it I'm thinking blue screen and a lot of wires but um the bus scene where Paul Walker you can see it in the trailer so it's not really spoiling it Paul Walker's um, character, the bus is about to fall off the cliff and as he's running away, like on the bus, trying to get off the bus, the bus is slipping down further and then he jumps onto a car. It's like so amazing. And then there's another scene, which I won't go into detail, but I will just tell you what the scene is so that when you see it, you know to pay attention to it. It's where this car is in this penthouse and diesel drives it through glass windows from building to building inside different buildings and the way it was shot and done was just amazing that's all I can say about that basically this whole time they were trying to get this guy and they needed a device or something and so they go to this party to get this device and then once they have it they have a new girl who knows everything about hacking and helps them out with all that kind of stuff and then it just goes on and on from there and they form a bond and Deezer's character is like we are, I don't have friends I have family and that just meant a lot and then the ending was really tribute to Paul Walker at the end where they did a little, little bit of tribute. I'm not going to tell you what they show in the tribute 
just know that there's a tribute that makes you a sobbing fucking mess. And they always say it's never, it's never goodbye. And then Paul Walker's like, you didn't say goodbye to me, like, you know. And if you know what happened to Paul Walker and how he died and stuff, you know that that little scene right there, I don't know, it just feels like the real thing. Now, in this whole movie, as you know, they didn't get to finish the movie after he died because they still needed him. So they asked his brother to come in and fill in for him since his brother kind of looks like him. Let's just say, during this whole movie, you cannot tell which scenes are Paul and which scenes are his brother. That's how identical they looked in this movie. And it's awesome that they made it so that you can't tell. Which is great. Um, it's very sad that Paul's gone. And I, of course, made a vlog, which I don't know if I'll add it to this one or not, talking about how I just found out on MTV Movie Awards this year, Diesel sung that song that's at the end of the movie, which is Paul Walker's tribute song called See You Again. And that song just makes you cry. It's so sad but um, when I get the DVD I'll definitely show you the DVD to make another a second review talking about the DVD and the the behind the scenes in the movie or on the DVD and if you buy the DVD what's on the DVD and and what it looks like and stuff like that so stay tuned for that um, I did do a review of Fast and the Furious 4 and 5 and I think I did 1 th and 3 but if I didn't let me know in the comments down below and I will find those DVDs and I will rewatch them and do a review for you if you want I will not be doing a review of the second one because here's the review right now it sucked the ratings were so bad that they knew they had to bring Paul back for all the others point blank um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Um, it was really hard to watch this movie, and it was really, really hard to watch the ending. It was so sad. Um, I just want to know, I would love to tell you how I saw this movie, if I saw it in theaters or if I saw it on, um, on a website or something, but I can't do that because that's stealing and and cheating and I'm not gonna out the person, you know, out it out. Just know that I saw it and that's that. Um, I would love to say more about it, but I can't. So I'm gonna get going. May the alts be in your favor and R.I.P. to Paul Walker. This is a tribute video for you. Bye-bye.